hey, long lost fish heads. Jen Crevasse, Jack Bates. Good afternoon. Yes, it's afternoon. It's way later than I thought that it would be when I did this video. And it's been a long time, and I have not been intentionally neglecting you. I apologize. I hope that everybody's good today. I hope that you guys are going to have a great weekend. Mine has been a little bit stressful. Um, I have hinted and teased around at it for the last couple of weeks, but here's what's happening in my world and why the videos have not been as frequent. I am in the midst of orchestrating a cross country move. Jekyll Bates is moving. We're moving to the north central Georgia area and very exciting, very stressful. Um, selling a house, buying a house, trying to do it in a very narrow window of time is, um, yeah, it's crazy. Hey, can you get the door? The roofers are here. And you know what? We're just going to have to roll through this video the way it is because I've got people here inspecting the roof. I've got people outside. I've got people in the house. There's, it's just crazy. Life for me, life for Jenny is crazy. Uh, it's going to get less crazy, but we have to get over that hump first. So what we're going to do today is instead of doing a lengthy spray session with people on top of the roof, we're just going to do the pieces that I have in front of me, which are really cool pieces. So again, thank you so much for bearing with me through the last couple of weeks. And it's going to be a couple more weeks. The videos are going to be spotty. I had an entire list of stuff that I wanted to share with you guys in the YouTube community and all my fish heads, but some of that's going to have to wait until I get into the new studio. There's being a studio built from basically like the ground up. Um, there's just, there's, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. I am going to dedicate a video. I keep saying that I will. I promise that I will definitely give you some, some more hints and some reveals and some really cool stuff. Um, I'm very excited about this move, but it's just wicked, wicked stressful. Let's start with this little aqua bowl. This is a gill, baby bowl gill, the Ketchco Buca collab with my paint on it. This is headed out the door today and I missed my post. Wow. Edit point. Okay, we're <laughs> We're going to try this one more time. The phone has been ringing off the hook. I've got the loan people and the mortgagers and I mean, it's just, uh, there's going to be a bourbon in my life at some point this evening. I'm going to decompress and then we're going to hit it real hard again tomorrow. But for now, <clears throat> where was I? This <laughs> is the collab. It's going out the door. I missed the carrier this morning because I was involved in getting some contracts together and stuff. I had to order a ton of, um, I, I do orders like every other week. So this is, um, I do a lot of stuff with Blick. Um, this address is gonna be changing, but that's, um, this is a bi-weekly. I do this volume of stuff. And it's not just for airbrushing. Like there's, you'll see there's a lot of, I, I do a lot of murals and stuff that is off camera that you guys don't know I do. That's a whole nother life. Um, but this beautiful going out thank you for dealing with my scatteredness too it's just got so much going on thank you thank you guys so much for bearing with me uh, this is a striper that i did yesterday uh, most of these pieces have been done for a while and then i just throw them up on on facebook so it's not always it's not always happening at the time that you guys see them post uh, but this is a beautiful beautiful striper this does not swim badly for a three piece. I'm not usually the biggest fan of a double jointed three section swim bait, but this one is a pretty cool one. It is a replica, but has been tested pretty thoroughly. Um, the fins, this is, this is the only part that I have a little bit of issue with because there's a little bit of water displacement that comes off the bottom of these fins. Um, other than that, this thing swims like a dream. It's a slow sink. The fall rate is, is pretty decent. It's about 1.75 ounces and three coats of clear on there. I had another one of these from Temi over Crossroad Tackle and uh, just have so much fun painting these. They're a pain in the butt to, to clear coat but they are beautiful. 
Um, and these swim really, really well. So this is that serpent style multi-section. It's the band. Uh, this would, it would be, way, first of all, be way too heavy if it weren't just the elastic band or the, the fabric band that's in between there. It would sink like a rock and it wouldn't swim well. So this is really, realistically, the only way that they can put this thing together. But you really want to try and keep it away from musky and toothy critters because it'll get destroyed. But if you're after a bass, you're just in a bass pond or, you know, something that's going to eat it. Uh, maybe, well, offshore, you got to be careful, too. But uh, this is the Mahi. And this is already sold to Michael Ornstein. So thank you so much. Dogs are going to start barking. We're just going to roll through this video because that's the way my life has been. We've got people in the backyard, people in the front yard, people on the roof. It's just life is insane. Um, and then I've got this three piece. See, I'm trying to keep it all together for you guys and tie everything in. Um, this is the trifecta. This is going out to um, Nick Riley. And these things have not always been the easiest to acquire. And thank God, and I'm really, Tim, you're my savior. If you're listening to this video, then shout out to Tim over at Crossroad because he has saved me arse a couple of times this year. Um, and for big orders that I had that I was just not getting stuff from overseas and had ordered twice. And Tim, I still have stuff at the border. I don't know about you, bud, but I still do. Um, but these, oh man, these are so cool. So... I discovered these when I entered a contest for Johnston Lures up in Canada, and I ended up winning the contest. It was the first contest and actually the only contest I've ever entered, um, but there were two prize winners. I was one of them, and part of my prize winnings was all these really cool swim bait blanks, these solid gliders, and um, these will dive down three, four feet or so, and he had me do a brook trout and a, um, a tiger trout last time. And so we did a trifecta of baits this time. We have, obviously, the brownie. And let me pull this in decent light for you guys. This is multi-layering. This is that brown trout. Beautiful. If I sound like I have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, it's just because my life has been so scattered the last couple of weeks. Um, trying to pull a lot of stuff together in a very short period of time can be exasperating, exhausting, and just make you want to start drinking at 3 o'clock in the morning and not stop until 3 o'clock in the afternoon, or vice versa, depending on what kind of hours y'all keep. This is the beautiful rainbow trout based on the one that I caught. One of my favorite patterns in the world to catch, eat, and release, and paint. And then we've got, we're going to finish up the day with this beautiful juvenile cutty, little cutthroat. And if you guys are wondering how to get this type of an effect, it's a very light spray. And, you know, on one of the last videos, I mentioned that the, uh, the bloodline, there's like an expired blue that I've really been just eating up lately and just spraying just about everything with a little bit of that in the detail. Yes, yes, I still have a favorite. It is still the Detail Black Magenta, but a close second is definitely this, uh, this expired blue that I've been using lately. But on this, it is Detail Black Magenta. And what you do is you spray that on top of just like a bone layer, and then you layer all your other colors in around, very transparent. you got to use transparent paints and like a pearl paint. And then it just kind of buries that to where it's a much more subdued look. It's not a bright black like you see on the dots, because that wouldn't look realistic. You've got to be able to bury these little juvenile markings that identify that it's a younger trout. So that's how we do that. You just throw transparent layers and pearl layers on top of that. These are Jets and Eyes on this one and also on the brown. But then we've got Dead Meat Customs. I try and throw you guys love every time I can, every chance I get. You guys have fantastic eyes. Both of you boys do. Um, these are Dead Meat. So thanks Matt. Thanks John. You guys are awesome and fantastic, and that, my friends, is all the news that's fit to print and probably the extent of which my brain can function right now. So I'm going to get back into it. I've got a ton of baits to do. I've got your orders. Every single existing order 
is getting sprayed before I move. Every single one of them. I have cut my website orders off except for the bull shad, baby bull shad. Uh, I've still got tons of apparel, t-shirts, Christmas is coming. We've got art, my original watercolors, and prints of that is on the website at www.chucklebaits.com. So don't forget about Christmas. Don't forget that, uh, you know, it's been a crazy year. So think global, shop local, support small businesses, and thank you so much for supporting this channel. Until I see you on the next video, which hopefully will be that spray session that we're talking about. <sighs> Folks, thanks for hanging in there with me. I love you. I mean it. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.